hi guys welcome back to my channel and to yet another video so today i'm going to be talking about wax melts what are wax melts this is one of the most asked questions and today i am here to address them so i'll start with the first thing because this is one of the most asked questions which most of my customers ask and i noticed that for some time especially when i started my candle making business most people didn't know what wax melts are it was like i'm introducing a new product into um the candle making um industry in kenya so i was just in like literally, I literally just had to explain to my customers what wax melts are. I had to do videos, I had to put out so many instructions and I just thought that doing a video would make much more sense and it would explain to people in a more um, appropriate and progressive way. So let's start with what are wax melts. Basically, wax melts are scented wax without a wick which means you will have wax which has fragrance and it's solid and it can melt once you put it on a warming plate and it does not have a wick that is basically what wax melts are so when you get wax melts they come in different scents so like for example when i started off with um starting off with wax melts i used um i had blueberry scent i had cream caramel and vanilla and also had the champagne and rose those were like my signature scents which are coming by the way and those are what i started with and they did so well surprisingly i didn't know that the wax melts would actually do well but they actually did do well and it was because of that explanation and the marketing that i did at that time that enabled me to get um the um, information or the narrative of wax melts out in the market so i was so excited about that and i now continued and i first started off with the smaller wax melts and then with the time when you look at your other competitors and you're like okay fine um i think it's time to maybe put a larger um mold size so that's now how i move now from the flower type i still like the flower type but honestly it was just so um difficult to continue pouring them in this small mold and i just needed huge molds which would make much more economical sense so i chose to use the chocolate bar melts and they they're just doing it's more economical for me right now what type of wax melts do i use well i use the soy um wax melts basically because you know my brand is about um sustainable living eco-friendly products and i just feel like they they release such a great scent. The scent throw is good and regards to the hot throw and the cold throw. Cold throw is a scent is a scent that you get when the candle or the wax melt is not lit. Then the hot throw is one that you get once it's lit up. Basically that's what cold and hot throw means. So I just feel like they release such a good scent it's very vibrant it's clean compared to other types of waxes and that's just the one which i settled for so how do you use these wax melts so basically i have two types of warmers here with me i have this one can you guys see it it's a very cute one and then i have this other large one this we both sell them at bougie scents and fragrances and they are 600 shillings so i'll use this one for illustration so basically you put your wax melt on top over here and then you take a tea light candle and put down over here and you light up the tea light candle and literally it just releases the scent basically that's how you use wax melt it's very simple to use it's very clean 
um, even in regards to disposing it's very clean um, and it's just literally very easy to use you see the way it's so different from candles in the sense that with candles you always have to keep on trimming the wick you have to keep on disposing it you have to always light it until the full melt pool is reached with this one you don't have to do that you just literally put the wax melt over there you put it on you can put it out at any time you feel like because you're controlling it with a tea light candle then there are also the electric warmers which people have i don't have those ones but in case you have those ones they're also very good for um using with wax melt so these are the tea light candles that we have so this is like one of them i don't know if you guys can see it properly but like these are the tea light candles they are so so cute and this is what you now put under the wax warmer so basically it's just really nice to use i actually do have one of the tea lights here with me burning and most of the tea lights are usually unscented for the reason that the wax smells are already scented so you don't want to have a mixture of scents if you are not really intending for it so basically that's just about it maybe you'll make up your mind now i'm here by your side so let it all out of me let it all out of me oh i will hold you in the dark make you forget about what it as in wax melts are just very simple to use and another thing which you can do you can always mix up the scents and create your own scents from the different wax melts which you have so i love using them especially when i'm doing um some self-care routines and when i'm cleaning sometimes i like to use them and also in the kitchen because you know you really don't need a lot of maintenance for wax smells and it just makes work easier so that's it if you guys have any questions please let me know and i'll see you guys in the next video please don't forget to share like and subscribe and remember to leave a comment do you like wax smells what do you think about it like just let's interact let's just know let's talk you do let's chat and before i even close off if you are thinking of starting off with wax melts i think it's a great idea just perfect up the skill and i think it's something which is so creative you can explore your creativity with it and it gives you the room to do things your own way and that's just what i like about art and craft and yeah so that's it in case you have any questions let me know. Bye.